Hello, Guido here from Block Builders, and I want to show you today how you do margin trading on Binance. I will show you exactly how it works and what you need to do and what you need to know in order to do margin trading on Binance. If you don't have a Binance account yet, you can just use the link down below and register for the biggest exchange, for the biggest crypto exchange in the world. Um, Binance is about to introduce a new platform, um, which they call new Binance or Binance 2.0. And it's basically a new version of the existing platform. And what they're going to do is um, they introduce some new functions. And one of them is margin trading. So margin trading is basically um, if you have one BTC, for example, you can borrow another two BTC and trade with three BTC instead of one. <clears throat> it also helps you to short um, cryptocurrencies. So you actually have a lot of trading instruments available with margin trading. And how it works is as follows. And um, you might have seen um, a sign on top of Binance where it said, says, um, want a sneak peek at the new Binance? Try now. And you can click there and then you will get access to Binance 2.0, so to the new Binance. And for some users, margin trading is already um, available, depending when you are watching the video. Um, some will be already able to margin trade and some users still have to wait a couple of days until it's available for every user. So if you try click here, you will get access to Binance 2.0 and it looks as follows. And what you're going to do, what you need to do now in order to margin trade is you go to balance. And then you have um, basically two balances available. I will move that window here to the side to have more screen space. And so you have the exchange balance and you have the margin balance. And in order to margin trade, you need to move some balance from the exchange wallets to the margin wallets. <laughs> All the transfers you're going to do for between the exchange and the margin wallet is within Binance. So you don't really need to pay, pay fees and all the transfers are instantly. So let's say I want to um, transfer 0 0.1 BTC to my margin wallet. It works as follows. Um, I need to transfer from the exchange to the margin wallet. And then I can just um, type 0 0.1 BTC and click on confirm transfer. And now you can see that my equity here increased to 0 0.2 and my total balance now is um, 0 0.2 as well. Um, I could also transfer Tether, for example. So how it works is um, it's again from the exchange to the margin wallet. Um, 10 Tether, and then I click on transform transfer, and then it looks as follows. I have now 109 um, Tether. And what I could do now is I could borrow either BTC or Tether, depending um, if I think the price of Bitcoin will go up or down. So uh, to give you an idea, you can go to the um, exchange. Let's do that. And then you have um, all the margin pairs that are available for margin trading. So you click on the M here. And here you can click on margin. So now you can choose um, if you want to trade BTC um, against Tether or BNB, Ethereum um, or Tron or XRP and we want to trade BTC against Tether. So the current BTC price is 8,081.82 um, US dollar or Tether depending um, what you're going to use. And now you can decide if you think the price will go up or down. 
So assuming you think the price will go um, up, then it would make sense to borrow Tether and use the Tether to buy Bitcoins. And if you think the price will go down, it would make sense to borrow Bitcoins and sell them against Tether. And then um, you can just uh, buy back the Bitcoins for a cheaper price. <clears throat> so let's do that. And let's assume the price of Bitcoin will go up. So I go back to my margin wallet. I need to reload that page. <coughs> margin wallet. Okay, here my 109 um, Tether. So I borrow. And I could actually borrow um, more than 3000 Tether, but I wouldn't recommend it because the more you borrow, the faster you will get liquidated. So it's actually wise to not borrow that much. So let's just borrow 200 and I can click on confirm borrow. And now you can see my own equity is still 109, but my total balance um, is now 309 Tether. So I borrowed 200, so I have now 309 Tether. And with these 309 Tether, I could now um, use them to buy Bitcoins. So I just go and click on margin, use market. With limit, I could choose um, the price um, I want to have or when the trade um, gets executed at which price. And with market, I just um, use market buy, so it will automatically buy for the cheapest price available. Then I click buy BTC. Oh, you might have to click there a couple of times. Uh, Now it works. And sometimes you have to click a couple of times um, here because it still sets an amount. Um, and if the price changes very quickly, um, the amount is could be too high. So you have to like um, click there a couple of times in order to get a new amount. So we have done that now. If I go back to my wallet, <clears throat> to reload that page. To my margin wallet, you can see um, the Tether are gone, but my BTC balance increased. Um, so assuming now the price of Bitcoin went up, I could now sell um, the BTC I borrowed. So I just go back there and say I want to sell 0. 0.0. .0 and sell them. Now it works and sell them and you can see I got my um, tether back. So I could now go back to my wallet and repay the tether I borrowed. <clears throat> could repay them here. Click on repay. You can see the debt here and then um, I would just click there and say um, confirm repayment. It's also important to know that you pay a daily fee if you borrow some, um, some equity, so some BTC or some Tether or some Ethereum for example. 
and you can see the fee here at 0.02% and it's charged every hour. Um, but the 0.02% is um, the daily fee. Um, so you actually pay every hour just 1 24th of it. Um, if you calculate that for the year, you basically, if you want to borrow BTC for one year, you basically pay 7%, a bit above 7%. Okay, that's um, basically it. If you have any questions, please use um, please use the comments below. And if you don't have a Binance account, feel free to subscribe. And thanks for watching.